BP Well Advisor is a technology program that we have kicked off to try and make sense of all the information that is available during a well construction operation. BP Well Advisor basically uh, combines a number of displays, it integrates all the information that provides a means of collaboration and can help improve the decision making. The first objective was to tackle some of the risks that we have in drilling, one of which is this thing called the blowout preventer. And so we created a console called the BOP console that, if you like, gives you the vital signs at all times, 24-7, so that you know if you need it, it's there for you. What you can see on the BOP screen is effectively four columns. The first of those columns tells you whether the control systems that sit away from the BOP itself on the seabed, they sit on the rig, whether those control systems are functioning properly. The second column shows whether the things that are part of the BOP itself have got good vital signs. These are the actuators for each of the valves and they should have a pressure consistent with the situation they're in. The third column is a schematic of the BOP itself and it shows the status, open or closed basically, of each of the many kinds of valves or rams in the BOP which you can use in sequence progressively if a problem occurs in the well. And then the last column shows you the history of operation of those valves so you know what process or what sequence the BOP has gone through in the past. One of the consoles we have is to do with stuck casing. Essentially, once you've drilled a well bore, you need to run casing in the well bore to protect it. In a stuck casing event, it means that the casing won't move down the hole or move up the hole. You can't pull it out. The consequence of this is that it could cost the company many millions of dollars to recover from that situation. If you go back a couple of decades, there was quite a lot of information being measured by people on rigs. It was analog information. That information has gone from being analog to being digital, and it's increasingly possible to bring it together in one place. The casing running console comprises four elements. So on the bottom left-hand side of the screen is what we call the hook load signature widget. This comprises two simple curves, one that represents block position, in other words, the height of the casing in the derrick, the hook load, which is essentially the weight of the string, and by looking at the character of that hook load curve, it can help us identify early warning signs that could predict the onset of a stuck casing event. Now at the top of the screen, you'll see what is called the drag chart. This comprises a number of curves, some that are generated during planning by the engineer, and the real-time data which is generated by the BP Well Advisor. So by looking at deviations between the planned lines and the real-time data, this can help understand if there's the onset of a problem. Uh, below that is what we call the trip schedule, and this basically captures the speed of the operation against prescribed limits. And finally, at the bottom right-hand side of the screen is what we call the zone widget. This provides a snapshot of the operation at any given time. Well Advisor aims at three things. First, enhancing operational safety. Second is to improve well construction efficiency. And last is to prolong longevity of our wells through improving the quality of our construction. The benefit of BP Well Advisor is that drilling and completion operations in BP are safer and are more cost effective.